Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at my complete VS Hollow set. Um, so those of you who aren't familiar with VS, I am going to tell you all about it in a minute. Um, but as you can see, I have the cards here in front of me. Now before we start, I do normally keep these in semi-rigid, so do not panic. I have taken them out for the purpose of this video, so we can zoom in and have a look at them up close. So these are all the hollows from the set. If you are aware of the set and you have some of these cards yourself, let me know what your favourite is. Um, but what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at Bulbapedia and we're going to have a look at the description of the set for those who aren't as familiar with it. Okay, so as you can see here, Pokemon VS is the only main expansion of cards from the VS era of the Pokemon card game in Japan. It does not have a main expansion as an English equivalent. Um, and here is the VS logo as you can see on the side and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down just so you can have a quick look at the set list um, before we have a look through my holo cards. So like I said if it's a set that you um, have collected yourself that you have cards of let me know what your favourite card is. I will definitely point mine out as we go. So here is the set list all the way to the bottom. And then um, languages this set is released in, um, it's exclusively in Japanese. So let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in nice up close so we can take a look at each one very carefully as we go. I am going to push them out of the penny sleeve and you can get a nice feel for the condition and a real appreciation. These are really beautiful cards. They have really, really beautiful artwork. So here we are, we are starting off with Faulkner's Skarmory. So we'll have a look at that hollow there. Catch that in the light. So these are going off for grading um, at some point to PSA. And there is the bottom. Um, but at the moment, I don't know when that is because at the moment, PSA is only accepting um, on their express service, which I have submitted a few cards under. Um, but these ones, I will be waiting for one of their lowest service levels to open up. So next up, we have Bugsy Sizer. So I will just give that a nice shine in the light. I think there's a swell there. Can you see right in the middle? of the star, if I shine it perfectly there. It's kind of a bit like a messy swell. It's tried, but it doesn't know what's going on. And the back. There we go. Okay, moving on, we have Morty's Murkrow. Um, and another thing which I'm sure you've all noticed, they have the first edition stamps down here, and then the VS symbol here. So there we go. Very nice cards, um, and these cards are always, or mine are, um, always tend to be in much better condition than any of my English cards, but this one does have a little bit of whitening up the top there, as you can see. Okay, so in the comments as we go, just let me know what's your favourite. Um, and then next up, we have got Jasmine's Steelix. Now, I thought there was a swirl on this, yes. Can you see in the bottom there, the bottom right hand corner look at that when i shine it in the light at the right moment it's more like a firework than a swirl actually but there we go can you see that okay so we'll have a look at the rest of the hollow up close and then we'll take a look at the back very nice and let me know what you think of the condition of these as i go through as well like i said they are going off for grading um but i will be waiting for PSA to open some of those lower service levels um, because I just can't justify spending that grading all my cards at the moment. Okay, so next up we have Price's Sneasel. These dark ones are a little bit hard to see, which is why I've zoomed in so much. And then again on the back. But compared to some of the other cards I have shown from my... PSA grading um, submissions, you will see that the condition is just in general a lot better. And then we have got Bruno's Steelix. Again, one of the darker ones. It's a little bit hard to see, but if I shine that in the light, you'll be able to see the hollow is very clean there. And we'll take a look at the back. Okay, right, moving on, we have Karen's Tyranitar. 
probably say this is one of my favorites very nice just trying to catch the hollow in the light there for you and we'll take a look on the back again Okay, and this is my favorite of all time out of all of them. Um, this is Karen's Umbreon. Such a nice card. Um, and I'm hoping this gets a nice grade when I do get it back. I'm just trying to work out if that's a swirl there on the top right hand side. I think it is. Just gonna give it a spin around. I think that might be a swell. I'm trying to catch it in the right light. Yeah, it is. Okay, but just look at that hollow when you shine it. Very nice. And we'll take a look on the back. And if you just heard that noise, it wasn't my stomach. It was my dog in the background. <laughs> okay, now we have got Rocket's Woe Buffett. I love this card. I love the artwork on these cards. Now, a lot of these cards have made an appearance on my Instagram before. Um, so you may have seen them. Like I said, I know a few of you do collect the VS set, um, but a few of you also don't. So um, this is just a nice insight to some of the cards that you do get in the set. And we'll take a look at the back. So yeah, let me know as we go, what is your favorite? Did you already have a favorite prior to this video or are these new cards for you? Um, and yeah, just let me know what is now your favorite from the set. Okay, now we are on to Rocket's Raikou. Love the artwork on that and the colours. Very nice there in the light. We'll take a look at the back. Just in such nice condition. And then we are moving on to Rocket's Entei. Beautiful card. Now, was there a swirl on this one? Yeah, I think there's like a, a nearly a double swirl going on just there. Can you see that if I just shine that? It's trying, it's not quite, but it is trying. There, you can just see it when I catch it there. Okay, so there's the front, and then again, first edition stamp down there, and the VS there. And the back. Okay, this is another one of my favorites. This is Rocket Suicune. I love the colors on this hollow. This has definitely made a appearance on my Instagram before. I think there's a swirl at the bottom there like half a swirl but let me know what you think of that that's definitely definitely up there with the karen's umbreon for me very very nice card and again on the back this has a little bit more edge wear actually than some of the other cards i'll just hold that up there you can see um but most of them are very very clean okay this is another favorite this is Rocket's Tyranitar. There we go, very nice card. And then we'll take a look on the back. Again, a bit more noticeable whitening on this card in the top corners and also down here on the bottom left as well. Okay, to finish off, I have laid all the cards out in their semi ridges so that you can see them. I don't normally collect any of the modern Japanese sets. I'm not really into the modern Japanese cards, but some of these older sets like VS, Web, Vending Series, um, I love them. I love the artwork. They're just such special cards and they are always in such good condition. Um, and the quality I find is always better than English cards. So this video was just a bit more of a information video I suppose for those who had seen these cards before but maybe wanted to know a bit more about the others that were in the set and um, like I said I have posted a lot of them on my Instagram before and I sometimes get messages asking what these cards are so I might start doing this with a few of the older Japanese sets that I have and a few of the other older English sets as well that maybe people who are just getting back into Pokemon and collecting modern would like to know a bit more about um, with regards to the older stuff so if you did like this video please let me know also let me know what your favorite card is what your favorite artwork is I just think they are all very um, special in their own way and I really really enjoy this set these hollows are beautiful um so if you haven't already please leave a like please subscribe and make sure to turn on that notification bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video thank you for watching and i will see you soon